as fortunate as you are, you're back. He still got uh, going. Many things happening to him with his stomach. If you ever have a problem with the stomach, don't just pass it off. Uh, it'll go away. But do something about it. And I say that also on personal note because my father had the same thing going on in the early ages, and, and he died from colon cancer because he was did not go to the doctor. Some people don't go to the doctor, and not that he knew, but at the same time, when they did find out, it was near the end. So we just thank God. If, if you got something going on, some, some, sometimes you gotta bug your doctors and tell them, hey, you know, I, I'm still not right. Medicine is okay, but I need to know how to get this thing resolved. Amen? Amen. Uh, okay. Five minutes added, no charge. <laughs> <laughs> day the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad. Welcome you all here to the church, um, uh, Market Street United Methodist Church, and uh, even those who are watching perhaps online, we welcome you as well. My my ask of you is that continue to pray for the church, pray for our congregation and community. You know, I was thinking this morning, uh, as I was thinking about you, uh, is that you guys are great. You guys are great. I should have met you 20 years ago. <laughs> uh, your kind acts and deeds and, and everything else. We just thank God for the market space here in Onanka. <laughs> and you know who you are. And, and you don't talk about Christianity. You live it. We just thank God for that. Once you lift up the bar, brother, uh, and I think it's good when brothers can get together and get away and go on a trip, a fishing trip. Uh, we thank God for them. We, we, our prayers will we, be with them uh, as well. And everyone else preparing for vacation. I uh, just want to take this moment to say, well, thank you. Mark your speech. Thank God for you. I thank God for my young couple on the front here. J and J connection. <laughs> Jerry and June. You know, she's born in June. No wonder she's nice, okay? Uh, they treated my wife and I to dinner. And, and uh, I'm not speaking out of turn, but uh, someone had said, How was your dinner? I said, Was the evidence? Oh, yes, yeah, it was fine. We thank God. And they didn't take a, took us over to a restaurant that we had looked at uh, when we first got here. And I said, nah, we, we won't go yet. And I know the reason why, so God is good. Um, I hope you pray and hope you have a good week. Uh, in the uh, opening prayer, and now we pray for turn later. Let us pray. <clears throat> God, we thank you for being so good in our lives. We come, God, to, to you, O oh God, like an empty pitcher before a field full of fountain. Full of so God, we might be a quarter way down, might be halfway down, might be all the way down, God, no matter the level, God. Fill us, O oh God, let us be on fire for you. Let us continue to be your modern day disciples, O oh God, with you teaching the miracles of Jesus Christ. Come in our hearts, our lives, O oh God, and let us worship you, O oh God, today in the spirit and in truth. We love you, God. We praise you, God. Hear our prayer. Amen. Our opening worship, call to worship, is on the right. I look to my right over my shoulder here. <laughs> we have gathered from our different places to worship here. Our is to worship together in unity. 
We come from our different occupation, our diverse activities. Our good is worship together in unity. We come as unique individuals bound together in love of Christ. Our good is worship together in unity. And Psalm 133 says, Behold, how sweet it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. So it's good when we come together to worship. Uh, we can come together and, and praise God as a church, as a community, and as a congregation. But we just thank God for that. Gather him. Uh, verses one, one through three, four, number four fifty two. My faith looks up to thee. Thank you for 
United Methodist Church, but uh, what Methodist Church? We thank God for that. The Lord, let us pray, repeat the Lord's prayer again. I'm sorry. Our Father, which art in heaven, how be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trust that sin to us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For God's kingdom, power, and glory, and Amen. Special music. Special music. You got to do a special music now. It's in the book, and I'm not sure what it is. That's it. <laughs>
to himself, he said to them, hear and understand. Not what goes into the mouth defiles a man, but what comes out of the mouth. This defiles a man. Then his disciples came and said to him, do you know that the Pharisees were offended when they heard you saying this? But he answered and said, every plant which my heavenly father has not planted will be uprooted. Let them alone, but they are blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind leads the blind, both will fall into the ditch. Then Peter answered and said to him, Explain this parable to us. So Jesus said, Are you also still without understanding? Do you not yet understand that whatever enters the mouth goes into the stomach and is eliminated? But those things which proceed out of the mouth come from the heart, and they defile a man. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witness, blasphemies. These are the things which defile a man. But to eat with unwashed hands does not defile a man. Then Jesus went out from there, departed to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came from that region and cried out to him, saying, Have mercy on us, O Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely demon-possessed. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and urged him, saying, Send her away, for she cries out after us. But he answered and said, I was not sent except to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then she came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dogs. And she said, Yes, Lord, yet even the little dogs eat the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said to her, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be to you as you desire. And her daughter was healed from that very hour. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Let the church say amen. amen. Let's pause for a moment, shall we? To hear the word. And now let us swallow the word. We thank God for this day. We thank God for the scripture. Matthew uh, is a great book. Uh, he tells us a lot of miracles are happening. And Jesus is not one person that sits still. He's God, he's son of man, God, and also Lord of us all. It is good. And as I read this passage of scripture two or three times this week, in my mind resonated uh, my experience 
uh, was bred as a child. My great grandmother, uh, my grandfather's mother, would take me and my brother to church with her, and she knew kids, wisdom. She knew kids. She would have a white cloth, and in that white cloth was bread. We kind of get frigid, get, get hungry, and you know, down in Eastern Carolina, the service got real long. <laughs> and and uh, so she was small enough to have the bread, and, and she'd break off a crumb, a piece. And that was the best treat of that morning. Did not want to be in church no way, but at the same time, <laughs> while we were there, she made sure that we had bread to eat. Wisdom, you know, I thank God for that experience and that this fact of scripture raises a lot of things in my life. Memory and research uh, and everything else. Uh, my grandma, my great grandmother, Rachel, <coughs> is deceased, been for years as a boy. Uh, she died in my early, uh, early age. I think we're eight, nine years old, but at the same time, it, it, when I thought about the bread that she used to have wrapped in this white cloth. You, anyone know what I'm talking about? Biscuits, <laughs> biscuit, and a white cloth. Uh, we you should call it cheese cloth. I don't know what you call it, but uh, it looked good and it was good. Amen. It brought back memories. You know, it's it's amazing how the mind goes back to those times. And uh, at the same time, it wasn't a steak dinner. It wasn't. McDonald's, it wasn't Burger King. At the same time, it was something to take the edge off the hunger. And so I give credit for all elderly person, for the parent, for how they thought, wisdom they have, and gave us to us. And God did allow them to be able to do that. We thank God for, for them. Uh, not a day in my life that I don't think about family who have brought me to where I am today. Uh, think about Jesus Christ going to an area, uh, going to where the Canaanites were, and uh, he did not know that he, he probably did know. He would not know that he would be approached with this particular question. But I, I like to say that uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the first part of the scripture, then I'm gonna talk about the, the second part more, more than anything else. Uh, we thank God for Jesus Christ showing his love not only to the house of Israel but also to those who are outside of the Jewish family. We thank God for showing his love and grace and kindness to us today as well in the 21st century. And we thank God for Jesus' teaching. And the, the lady was very persistent. So I want to say this morning for a few minutes, there has to be enough. Even for the children outside the faith, even for us Canaanite, there got to be enough. Biscuits are good. Matter of fact, I love biscuits growing up. And that was a meal. Can you remember your family packing the lunch for school? <coughs> and and uh, my aunt who I lived with used to fix biscuits and pears, pears de loup. That was my lunch. It was good, amen? It was good. And you know, we were brought up in a time that if you sit down at the table, you eat everything on your plate, and then if you didn't eat everything in your plate, you didn't get dessert. <laughs> you even ate the crumbs that fell, <laughs> amen. And, and so, so you know, everybody wants dessert, and they should have those uh, three layer, not the thin thing of like they have on the show over here, and then them things were that big. Three layer cake. And you know I wanted a piece of that chocolate cake, amen. It, we thank God. For, for those experiences. And at the same time, we had to eat everything. We, it was no saying, I don't like this, I don't like that. <coughs> you sit down, you ate, 
and was thankful. My grandparents raised us that way. You don't wait your food. And I guess that was a problem for me for a while because I, I thought eat, 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 eat. <coughs> but at the same time, you know, there's a trick to that too as well. So there has to be enough for God's world, for God's creation. There gotta be enough for God's teaching. And so we thank God for our ancestors and for those persons who have helped us along the way. Amen. Jesus is always confronted before he does a good miracle. Have you noticed that? He's always going to be confronted. And I say the devil is busy. And I also say the devil is alive. When God got work for you to do, you go ahead and do it. And the scripture said, leaving that place, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon, a Canaanite, you know, a, a Canaanite woman. From that vicinity came to him, and he was traveling in their vicinity. And asked him for bread. And, and she, she, she took Jesus toe to toe. And Jesus said, is it right for me to take the children bread and throw it to the dogs? The woman did not give up. She was persistent. But even the dog eat the crumbs that fall from the master table. Amen? There's always going to be something. There's always going to never be enough thing like And you know, I, I'm still trying to figure my mind. We used to have family come over to the church and community and we would feed our children. There were six of us, nine of us, and sometimes well, depending on my other cousin. Uh, we all got fed. Isn't that something? It's almost like a miracle happening, taking place. We all got fed, and we never went without a meal. Amen? We never went without a meal, but God always provided. And, and we would have gotten grown. Uh, we shared with neighbors, neighbors shared with us, and, and hog killing time in North Carolina was a big thing. When they killed hogs and, or cows in North Carolina, the whole community ate. I thought that was living. I can't remember a day that 